Hey everyone, today I have a quick Windows 11 tutorial for you. We're going to be showing you how to change your theme in Windows 11. You can pick from one of the ones that's pre-installed with Windows 11, or you can download one from the Microsoft Store. It's really quite simple to do. But hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken. This is Northern Viking Every Day. We bring you videos on reviews and how-tos, so please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Let's go ahead and dive right into changing your theme in Windows 11. All right, so here we are on my Windows 11 desktop and it's really quite simple to change your theme or install themes here in Windows 11. And we're gonna show you both of those today. First, we'll change the theme and then I'll show you how to download and install one from the Microsoft Store. So the first thing we need to do is find an open area here on our desktop, not where there's icons or down here at the bottom, find an open area, maybe in the middle. And just go ahead and right click with your mouse. So not left click, but right click. It's gonna open up a little menu that looks something like this. And we're looking for the option here towards the bottom that says personalize. So you can go ahead and left click on personalize. That's going to load up the personalization page here in Windows 11. Now, once you're here, you're going to see some quick apply themes here at the top. These are typically the ones that would have been pre-installed here in Windows 11. So I've got the dark theme on right now. I can switch to the light theme. A lot of you might be familiar with this one. It's probably what comes as default here in Windows 11. You can switch to other ones like Glow, for example. And when you do that, again, it's gonna um, change it to Glow. So it's really quite easy to switch between the default themes here in Windows 11. I do have a Leaves one or Autumn Colors one here that I did let download from the store. And again, we're gonna show you how to download and install one in just a moment. Now, the other way is to click on this Themes button right here. So a little bit further down the screen, it says themes, install, create, and manage your theme. So you can make some changes to the themes if you don't wanna use the quick access there at the top. So we'll go ahead and left click on this themes button. And once you've done that, again, you can go through and change your themes right here. So maybe you want this one, the captured motion one, you can easily change it to that right here as well. But there's some really cool features in here that I do wanna show you. I'm not gonna go through every setting, but one of the cool ones is here at the top, it says use custom theme. So if I go ahead and click on use custom theme here at the top, it'll allow me to make some changes. So I can actually change the background. So if I click on background here, I can um, use one of the pictures that's there already, or I can browse for photos. So maybe I have a photo on my computer, I could click on browse for photos here. And I happen to have one on my computer from Niagara Falls. So if I click on that, and hit choose picture, that Niagara Falls photo will be part of my custom theme. Now, if I back out here, oh, we'll go back there. I can change the color as well for the custom theme. So maybe I want a green color to go with that. I can change that to green. And you can do all sorts of changes here. And again, I'm not gonna go through all of them, but you'll, you can look at that on your own. You can also change the sounds, the Windows default sounds here as well as what mouse cursor you're using. So if you want a different mouse cursor, maybe you want a crosshair or an available, something like that, you could easily change that here as well. So once you've done your custom theme, you can easily change that. And again, if I minimize this, you can see that it has changed to that custom theme. Now I'm gonna go back to the Windows dark theme. I happen to like that one. So we're gonna change it back to that. Now let's go ahead and show you how to install a theme here in Windows 11 from the Microsoft Store. So while you're on this personalization page, you can actually click on this button here that says Browse Themes right here. Get more themes from the Microsoft Store. And if I left click on that, it's gonna load up the Microsoft Store for me. And let's just maximize this here so you can see what's going on. This Autumn Colors one is the one that I've already installed. And you can see there's quite a few free ones in here. Some of them you do need to pay for but you can scroll through here and find one that you like. So maybe you'd like, hmm, I like this turtle one here, the World Oceans Day Premium. Let's go ahead and left click on that. It's gonna load up here and you would just go ahead and click on get here. And this one again is a free theme. So we'll go ahead and click on get and it's gonna start installing that for us. It says pending, starting download, downloading, and it's all done. We're just gonna go ahead and click on open here and it's gonna add it to our list. So now you can see it right here. World Oceans Day Premium 10 images. So if I click on that, it's gonna apply that theme 
here and let's go ahead and minimize this and we'll minimize the Microsoft Store. And now you can see it's applied that theme to Windows 11. And it's really that simple to change your themes and download and install themes here in Windows 11. So I hope this video was able to help you change your themes and download and install themes here in Windows 11. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also remember to connect with me on social media. You'll find all those links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care.